have a balloon here. I'm going to stick it on here. It doesn't stick. One more try. It's not sticky. Now uh, that it's electrically neutral. So now what I'm going to do is rub this balloon with fur. Uh, according to Paul Hewitt, the famous conceptual physics instructor, I saw a slide once on one of his, that you can get up to 5,000 volts on this balloon. Uh, if you do the math, you can calculate what charge that corresponds to. Obviously, there's not going to be a lot of current when you touch this, so anyways, that's just to keep you slightly interested while I charge this balloon up. So now I'm going to touch it to here. This is an electrically neutral wall, and now we have excess charge on the balloon. I'm going to touch it to there. Hopefully, it actually stays this time, and it sticks. So I want you to try and explain why that works. And there's a common misconception in physics. So Angus, if you could, please look up here. The misconception is that people think chemistry teachers actually put on better stage shows than physics teachers. <laughs> Clearly, we see the evidence from numerous trials that physics puts on a better stage show than chemistry. Well, obvious. Anyways, just thought I'd point out that common misconception. You don't want that lingering in your life. That's it.